The heart of forgiveness is seeing the unseen hand of divine purpose, even in the most undeserved affliction and offense. When a legitimate wound has been inflicted by the very ones closest to you, the process of healing requires extended time and extraordinary divine intervention. And when undeserved forgiveness is granted, its reality becomes almost incomprehensible to the ones guilty of the offense. For example, the biblical story of Joseph. Uniquely loved by his father, extremely hated by his brothers, victim of the most horrendous offense a man could experience, sold to slave trading merchants, purchased and possessed by a high-ranking authority, rewarded and revered for diligent labor and management, then incarcerated and forgotten over a trumped up charge of sexual assault, forgotten by an emancipated fellow prisoner, and then finally exalted to a position of limitless authority and power. Then came the opportunity of a lifetime, just as prophetically seen in a vision, there before him bowed the very ones who had sold him out, his brothers. A golden opportunity for justifiable revenge. But in the place of retaliation, there was nothing but tears. A family reunion led to a decade and a half of prosperous living and restored relationships. All was progressing incredibly well until with the death of their father, the demons of their past began to weigh heavy on the minds of Joseph's brothers. With dad out of the way, what's to prevent Joseph from taking his own revenge? So together they approached Joseph's throne and in fear appealed for grace, but instead of justified recourse, they looked directly into the face of forgiveness. Joseph said, you meant it for evil, not denying your intentions or your irreversible actions, but God meant it for good. The heart of forgiveness is seeing the unseen hand of the divine purpose, even in the most undeserved affliction and offense.